Question 24. We are getting towards the end of the paper, so this is going to be a level 5 question. So it'll be a little bit harder. And it's harder because we've got to explain. So it says, which is larger, one third or two fifths? Now there are a couple of different ways you could go about this. You could actually make these fractions have common denominators. So you find equivalent fractions with a common denominator. Now a little trick. If ever you want two fractions to have a common denominator, if you times the denominators together, so 3 times 5 is 15, let's make them both out of 15. So, if we make 1 third out of 15, to get from thirds to 15s, we're actually multiplying that by 5. So, 3 times 5 is 15, but we've got to do the same to the top. So 1 times 5 is 5. So 1 third is the same as 5 fifteenths. With 2 fifths, to get that into 15, how do we get fifths into 15? That we times by 3, because 3 fives are 15. So we've got to do the same to the top. So we want 2 times 3, which is 6. Now that they are both in fifteenths, you can easily see which one is bigger. Five fifteenths or six fifteenths, well obviously six fifteenths is bigger. And that has come from our two fifths there. So, which is larger, one third or two fifths? And the answer is two fifths. In terms of the explanation, you could say, if I get equivalent fractions out of 15, then 1 third equals 5 fifteenths and 2 fifths equals 6 fifteenths. Remember that there we have times by 5 there we have times both things by 3. Then 6 fifteenths is bigger than 5 fifteenths. And 6 fifteenths comes from 2 fifths. So that's a complete explanation as to why 2 fifths is bigger. You could actually do a completely different way, which doesn't talk about fractions at all, which talks about percentages. So you could do this. You could draw yourself a pizza and split that into thirds. And then you could draw yourself another pizza for two fifths. But this time, obviously, split it into fifths. And we could start thinking about percentages. Well, a third, a third of a pizza, if the whole pizza is 100%, if you split that into three pieces, each piece will have to be 33.3 recurring percent, because a third of 100 is 33.3. .3. With fifths, if you split 100% into five, each piece will have to be 20%. So this piece would be 20%, this piece would be 20%. Now, all we have to do here is say that 1 third equals 33.3%. But 2 fifths, if you look at your pizza, 2 fifths is 20% plus another 20%, which is 40%. And now you can see that 40% is bigger than 33%, so therefore two fifths must be bigger. So you again you would write two fifths, but you would say because two fifths equals 40%, and this is bigger than 33.3%. Or one third. So that is a completely different way of working out the same thing.